Hi guys, welcome back to Digital Girl channel. Today I'm going to talk about multiple linear regression model. Let's go! In the last video, I already talked about simple linear regression. You guys can check the link below if you want to. Basically, we already built three models that predict the ranking of the songs using some features that have high correlation with the target value, popularity, as well as um, energy, duration and speechness. Before going to build our multiple linear regression model, I want to check again the correlation matrix. As you can see, the correlation between the popularity uh, versus energy, duration and speechness is higher than that comparing to other variables. So I will choose them to build multiple linear regression models. However, I just want to make note that correlation is not causation. Just because two variables are correlated does not mean that one variable cause another variable to change. But why we choose the feature that have higher correlation? Because when we have identified two variables that are correlated, we would like to model this relationship. Now let's build our multiple linear regression models. First of all, model for L popularity versus energy, speechness, new summary so in the simple linear regression model the coefficients that we should look at to check if this is a good model is p value lower than 0 0.05 and the multiple r squared uh, the closer to one the better model is and so what about the multiple linear regression model Yes, we should consider checking one more variable, which is adjusted R squared. Every time we add an independent variable's model, R squared increase, even if the independent variable is insignificant, if it never declines. Whereas the adjusted R squared increase only when independent variable is significant and affects independent variables. So what is the adjusted R squared? It measures the proportion of variation explained by only those independent variables that really affect the dependent variables. Let's build our model 5 versus energy versus duration. So as we can see that the p-value here is really low. No, the multiple r square is 0 0.07, which is higher than the last model. So is this a better, better model than the model 4? Let's add one more value to this model. Model 6. Let's print out. So we can see that our p-value is good. Um, R square is of course higher than the model 5 and we should consider adjusted R square here. Comparing to the model five here, so our adjusted R square in the model six is higher. So it means that our speechness variable affects um, the predicting of the popularity. It seems that our model six has better results so to predict the popularity. So this is the predicting model that we have. R square is 0 0.0878 means that around 8.8 .8, the change of popularity is affected by increase of speechness, decreasing of energy, and decreasing duration. From this report, we can conclude that to have a better rate of popularity of uh, the songs, we may look at three features energy, duration, and speechness. So now, just for fun, I want to make a predict function to see how our model works. This is the predict function that I already wrote. So here the code. With this function, we can um, input our our own 
values. So I am going to check the song let that is known, let that is known as 54, 90, yes. Comparing to the real value, which is 91, is a little bit lower. So that's it. We have just built a multiple linear regression model to predict the ranking of the songs. And the next video, I will talk about some selection methods that will help us to compare all of the possible models and then bring out the best feeding model.